Hello guys, this is the lecture series on digital image processing and myself Dr. Dibon Stibora. In the last lecture, I have described what are the importance of optics in image processing and the stages. We have also described the, the stages involved from image processing to computer vision. And also we have gone through in brief about the history of digital image processing. And today our topic is the important stages or I can say the key stages involved in digital image processing. And this class will be very important for you. So first of all, what we have our problem domain. Then the next stage is image acquisition image acquisition means what you try to collect or you try to take those images okay then we have image enhancement then we have image restoration okay image enhancement this is a very important area where actually maximum of the and means pre-processing tasks done then we have remiss restoration where we will discuss those techniques by which we can restore the quality of the images okay then we have morphological processing then we have segmentation then we have object recognitions then we have representation and description parallel we may have color image processing and image compression we will discuss this but up to now, these are the states involved in digital image processing. You have to take a snapshot of the, of the same. Image acquisition, image enhancement, image restoration, morphological processing, segmentation, object recognition, and representation and description. Clear? So, for each step, I will show you some examples. <clears throat> examples in the sense that how the image will be after that particular stage. Now, first image acquisition. You know, this is bold, black. So, this means in this space, we try to capture the image. This is a scene element, and this is illumination, such so energy source. Then, the imaging system. Then, internal image plane. This is the internal image plane. And this is the output or digitized image. Up to this, this is continuous. And then when it becomes digitized, this means this is in discrete form. So this is all about image acquisition. Clear? Then we have image enhancement. As I have said that this is one of the important states that almost perform as a pre-processing technique in every different applications in different research applications or practical applications okay it is very much required see this image initially this is the image after the image enhancement you see this image so you can see the quality difference among these two images initial image this is too darky that you can actually or clearly identify the objects now in this enhanced image, all the objects or regions of concern or regions of interest are very much clear with the outlines or I can say edges more distinctly visible. Clear. So this is image enhancement. Then image restoration. You see this image. This is full of noises. And what is noise actually? Noise are some unwanted values or unwanted pixels that may degrade the image quality or not just degrade, it will just destroy the internal details of the image. So we have to try our best to restore the image by removing them. From the example, it is very clear that this is the original image. That is the degraded function. Now, this is the image we have obtained after applying image restoration technique. Clear? 
Now you can guess that why this image restoration technique is needed. As I have said that today I am just giving you an overview of every technique, why it is required and how it will look after applying that technique. But internal techniques or those different techniques among under that area will be discussed later. Then morphological processing, you will see this, these two images. Okay, we go through some morphological or mathematical equation based processing and after those processing, we'll find some better versions like this one, you know, you almost know or I hope so that you are all aware with those actual functions, and over functions, but in this particular morphological processing, we will practically see that how they are being applied. Clear? Then we have image segmentation. It is the, I can say what, its practical uh, application is very vast, almost used in either medical image processing or medical imaging or satellite image processing or different other fields. See, this is the original image. This is the histogram. Then after segmentation, we'll get like a picture like this one. So segmentations will help you to separate the different objects on the basis of some homogeneity criteria. And that in future will help you to recognize those different objects. So you see that after segmentation, the next stage will be our object recognition. So in the object recognition, we will focus on the different objects. And if object recognition is concerned, say, if I am considering the iris that I said, we have this iris, Virginia, iris, particular, iris, iris, Cetosia. Okay, so we'll try to find out which particular that data point is, means which particular means on uh, into which class that particular data point belongs. So we try to recognize its ob the, quality, the class of the object exactly. Okay, although these diagrams is not clearly depicting those things, but it is clear actually. But in terms of image, it will be very helpful to understand. So see that Iris Virginia is shown in the terms of this, what? Triangle shape, and this is square shape for Virgicolor and this circle for Chitosa. So you will see the different shapes here. And this is of course Virginica. And then this is, uh, this square is of course Virgicolor. And this is Cetosa. So, how the objects are being recognized with the help of that what particular object recognition technique? Clear. So, after object is being recognized, we'll move to the next stage that is the representation and description. Here, we try to represent the object that is being recognized in a way that the normal users can understand it. Okay. Like if we want to present this to a doctor who only knows that about the shape, but he actually doesn't know the algorithmic approach to the 